I kind of like going to extreme places, just kind of challenging myself. I guess Sunswift, because we were racing a solar car from Darwin to Adelaide in the desert. It's kind of a similar atmosphere to this, where you're in the middle of nowhere, you're with a small, close-knit team, and you're responsible for fixing things with fairly limited resources. It's probably the best preparation for coming down here. I'm employed by the Bureau of Meteorology. So my role is a technical officer engineering. We uh, do a lot of measurements of the weather, which is really important for uh, scientific analysis of climate change and the impact climate change is having on Antarctica. Uh, it's, it's pretty special. I feel pretty lucky every day. Like at the moment, it's really special. We've only got four hours of daylight, but because the sun's always so low in the sky, it's like you've got sunrise and sunset colours all day. Uh, I think uh, the engineering degree was really helpful. A lot of the uh, student-led projects like Sunswift really help being able to apply the things you learn theoretically in a classroom in a practical setting. And I think it gives you a kickstart for your career when employers see that you've already got practical skills and you know how to manage your time and how to deal with other people and deal with deadlines and you become a lot more attractive candidate. When you look at my friends I graduated with, the range of careers they have, there's people working at Tesla making electric cars, there's people over in the UK developing bionic devices, people working for banks. I think what an engineering degree gives you is a toolkit to approaching problems, being analytical, collecting data and then coming up with creative solutions. And that's really helpful, but it's also a pretty highly desirable mindset in all industries. UNSW do a really good job of giving you a high level of theoretical training, good practical skills with lots of student projects and lots of strong links to industry to make sure that you can have a placement while you're still studying. We've got what we call surface observations. So we've got our thermometers that measure the temperature, humidity measurements, we've got wind measurements. We record how much sunshine there is in a day, um, how much snow's fallen. We've got a device that measures the height and the amount of clouds. So all of those go into the climatological record. So they're able to look at trends over time and see the effect of climate change. I guess, yeah, I always like to make a positive contribution to the world, to try and leave things in a better place than when I started, to use the skills I've got through UNSW Engineering to improve things, make things more efficient and minimising their impact on the environment. My name is Robert Makepeace and I'm a Bureau of Meteorology Technical Officer in Engineering down here at Davis Station in Antarctica and I'm a UNSW Engineering alumni.